Thrown Out Dodo is a love letter to arcade games of the 1980s. Games like Donkey Kong and Popeye that really took the world by storm at the time. This game harkens back to what made arcade games so fun and addictive. And it's a game that came out in 2022. Dono Dodo, I originally played on the Atari VCS, which I got back in December. It was one of the first games I picked up for the console because of just how authentic it looked. And the game itself does feel very authentic. If you were to bring in an arcade cabinet with this game loaded up, I, you know, honestly, I would believe that it was some lost, some long lost 80s arcade game. And that is a major accomplishment. In Donut Dota, you play as Billy Burns, and you're trying to get your donut back from this giant dodo. Uh, each stage takes you to a new location where you have to platform, uh, you know, dodge enemies, remember enemy patterns, collect all the donuts. Once you collect all the small donuts, you can go for the big donut that the dodo is hogging. It's a very fun, very addictive game. It's as fun as it is difficult, a game that will test your patience. You need to memorize the uh, enemy patterns for each stage to really get around. got a few different uh, modes to unlock too. They're mainly just difficulty modes. The first one is um, you play through one round of easy and one round of normal. And then the second one is one round of normal, one round of hard. And then you also get a daily challenge and a sugar rush, which is a uh, time trial mode. And there's also online leaderboards. Um, not a lot to this game. It is fairly cheap, though, around $5 available. Like I said, I played it first on the VCS. I'm playing the Steam version for this review, and I know it's on the Nintendo Switch. A true love letter. Donut Dodo is fantastic. Very simple game, but a game that I am very glad that I have put some time into. Um, it's a game that uh, I keep coming back to over and over again to try to improve my score, to try to get further and further, to try to improve my tactics. It's a really great experience. Um, you know, on each stage as you're watching me play, uh, I don't do it for all the stages. I do it for the stages that I feel comfortable with. But um, if you go for a certain donut, the the glowing donut, and then it'll change position. If you keep going for, going for the glowing donut, you'll get a points multiplier, which will help you rack up extra lives, which trust me, you'll need because this game gets really hard. I'm just throw, blown away by how fucking good Donut Dodo is. Uh, honestly, it should have been my game of the year <laughs> last year. So Sonic Frontiers took that for the Button Mappers Game of the Year Awards. Um, I hadn't played this game at the time of recording that. 
I got it on the VCS after recording that. But Dona Dodo is up there. Uh, I hope the team behind this game really, you know, devotes time into making more titles like this because not a lot of people are making old school arcade games anymore. Most of the throwback titles are to, you know, the NES, the Super Nintendo, you know, even now, like, I think, like, the PS1 and 64 generation is getting a lot more attention. Nobody's making arcade games. And this game, like I said, I would, if you brought out a Donut Dodo cabinet, I would believe it's a game that already existed. I would buy this game if, like, 1UP Arcade did a full Donut Dodo cabinet. It's that good. If you have five bucks, don't buy that fancy coffee. Don't buy that Whopper for Burger King. Buy Donut Dodo. It's it's just great. 